Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Sunless Sea, my name is Afroluigi, and I just visited a little restaurant in Vendor Blight. Um, a corkscrewed street, the twisty tip of an odd little side street, welcoming yellow light glows from a jilt-lettered windows of a restaurant. A sign reads, Vengeance of Jonah. A, briefly, a beefy tomb colonist bustles up, a gray mustache pokes impertinently out from under his bandages. Come in, come in. We've lost terror, and we found the Vengeance of Jonah. So, we can, oh, he's a cook? I would assume he's a cook. Uh, the banished parent has long wished to travel, but you'll need to outfit the galley to his exact standards. This will recruit him as a cook. We don't have a cook, do we? No, we don't. Offer a strange catch. Um, they'll pay a small fee and return some of the material to you with supplies. Sample today's special. No. I think I would have tried hiring him. How much does it cost? 300 echoes? Sure, let's take a gamble. Uh, to my captain, things we will catch, that we will consume, that we will experience, we will discover the seventh sensation, you and I. The taste that one tastes with the heart. You there, sailor, careful with the brazen embolique. It's worth more than your wretched soul. Interesting. So, officers, we now have a cook. What's he do? Heart stitch, pages three. Awesome, he has an ambition for fish. A great ambition. Interesting. Brace our hearts. Secrets? Uh, no, perhaps not. Sweet, so we now have a cook. But like I said, we're now making our journey. I wasn't actually was I able to pick up any. Uh, explore vendor bite. A little chapel stands alone. You poke your head through the doors. The walls are a deep red, just the side of scarlet. A ruby-tinted window at the back glows with steady light. An electric lamp behind the glass. Rare and expensive, but this is no gaslight. No one is here, and you have the sensation that only moments ago someone must have been here. Interesting. Search the place. 72%. Make an offering. Drop a coin into the empty offering box and pray to the power of this place, whoever it might be. Let's try it. An uncertain outcome. Prayer soothes the soul, they say. Your soul is not soothed. You wait, head bent while the light in the chapel beats on, shadowless and unmoved. Nothing changes. The red of the place gets into your vision. The faces of your crew seem flushed as if fevered. You hear your own breathing echoed ra ra echo raggedly. No one is sitting in the pew behind you. It doesn't stop you looking. This scene will stay with you. Perhaps you can write it of it when you return to London. We have gained a tale of terror. We've lost an echo. And that's it. Terror 25. Uh, shops. Uh, let's sell some. Oh well, no, we want to save our mushroom wine for the. Uh, what's the place? We can sell some of our uh, memories of distant shores, though. Hmm. What can we do with her? Uh, right, she wanted to go to King's Eater Castle. So, I guess we're heading off. Uh, I don't really want to, we don't really have any tomb colonists, so we can't, so the journey to the Nativity is, would, would be kind of pointless. I guess we could head back to London to see, see, uh, the kid. Yeah, let's do that, and we're gonna hug the coast to see if we can get, actually, there's no point in trying to get rid of that, I don't think. So let's head back to London. See what we can do with our kid. Also, I did get into a fight with one of those uh, the little crab guys, which is why I have I'm sure short four points of hull. Well, or why I took four points of hull damage would be another way to put that. So let's speak to this guy while we're oh this pauses the game right. We don't have any mutter cells, so we can't dine with him. And off we go south. I wonder if the, uh, what's his name, the uh, cheery businessman, I think what he was, I wonder if he'll have any work for us. Because he's been making me, I think, most of my money. What is that? Is that a pirate? No, that's not a pirate. I wonder if attacking him would be, uh, would make me any money. Oh, and something awaits us in port. Perfect. 
Helm water, sailors out the road, watching for the lights of London. Can I, if I turn this off, do I get any terror increase? A little, yeah. Oh, it saves us fuel. I should see if I can find a lamp with a uh, reduced. Actually, no, I want to save up for a. Uh... You begin to dream of a vast eye. It knows you, you cannot evade its gaze. A black, unsleeping taste. Again and again, you are alone on the wide black sea. The eye is aware. Your nightmare will come upon you from time to time, inspiring terror. Gain restful nights at your lodgings to help you resist it. If you defeat it, you may gain a secret. Yes. Gain restful nights at our lodgings. We could try that, I guess. We can afford. We can definitely afford it. Oh, our terror's dropping here. At least I, th I think that's what it means when it's green like that. Yeah. So actually, we just idle around here in London. Actually, no, that still increase. We still consume f uh, supplies doing that. So, collect messages. We now have another free. E Something has changed. Here we go. Uh, you, your sweetheart, and your child. What will you call? What will your child call you? Uh, let us improve our lodgings first. You can't raise a child in a room above a pub. Well, people do, but your sweetheart expects better. Yeah, let's improve our lodgings. Uh, elegant townhouse we need. We only need seven, 70 of that, so let's go back see if we can get that. Um, perhaps not. Let's speak to him. Submit our port reports. Hunter's Keep. Five Echoes. Vendor Blight. Ten Echoes. Assist with sustenance. Uh, what does he need? Information. Da 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 da. Nothing there. Okay. Straightforward challenge. Right, no, we don't want to do that. I think. Let's go to the shops. What can we sell? Don't want to sell any. We don't want to sell our gun. That'd be a bad idea. Don't want to sell fuel or supplies. Do we have anything we can. Here we can sell. Uh, prisoner's honey. Yes. We can sell that. Uh, I guess we can sell some of our mushroom wine. I should have sold that up at Fender Blade. There. Now. Let us. Get to our lodgings and upgrade them. Purchase an elegant townhouse. You have your crew cart your things from the blind helmsman to your new address. If anyone respectable calls, they'll pass as a servant. They'll pass as servants. Interesting. Resting is now more expensive but more effective. Okay, good thing we haven't been resting. There. Visit our study. Once your lodgings are large enough to support a study, you can create items such as iron, an iron carlil, a whispering trophy cabinet, or the zong of the Z. Awesome. Now let's see here the child. Uh, father. Yeah, we're his father. You now have a day this and a free evening. Here's a small warm appreciation creature. Treat it gently. You may visit your child at your lodgings. When you gain a free evening, you will always get free evenings when you return to London. But here's one now. Awesome. Uh, let's spend time with our family. Sweetheart comes and goes. They have their own complicated business, but they always return to your shared home and your child. Awesome. Uh, there's something you saw for share it. There is a dog outside in real life. If you give suitable presents to your child, they will gain sea fever. If sea fever, they will decide to run away to sea, becoming your scion. This will establish a permanent dynasty for your future sea captain. Yes, let's do this then. You now have five memoirs that you feel. Your eye, child's eyes go round as pennies. They st store up the memories as dream fuel. Much later, you find the scene you described scrawled on a full scap sheet by a childish hand. Uh, whoops. Can we craft an ironclad will? Create a shrine of shrone. Create an atomical cabinet. Create a serene aquarium. Create a monstrous almanac. Create a whispering trophy. Create, create a will. What do we need to create a will? We need 200 echoes. We don't have enough. Whoa, look at... Well, what do we need? We need a lot of stuff to create a Zong of the Sea. So we need... next. Our next goal is to raise 200 
echo so we can craft a will. In the meantime, let's go tell another story to our kid. Oh, we can't until we have another free evening. So, uh, does this guy, can we not get anything from this guy? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, vital intelligence can be created from two pieces of strategic information or through spy networks or f and some other opportunities. And we don't have any port reports to turn in, do we? Nope. So... That guy's useless. Um, we don't have enough echoes for uh, uh, what's it called? For Sphinx Stone. Oh. Let's get. Let's turn in a bunch of our. Uh, Uh, yeah, let's get one point for f there. Let's do this. Let's just get a whole bunch of fuel and go on an exploratory. Ooh, three points of fuel. There. That should get hold me off on an adventure. Because I think... What do I want to explore? I think I want to explore this area down here. So we'll head south, cut through here, and then start chipping away at this chunk here. Because that's a huge area, and there's probably some ports in there. I, I bet there'd be a port in here, and there's probably something in here as well, and up there, of course. So let's explore the southern area. We have 16 fuel. Once it drops to, say, 7 or 6, we'll make our way back to London with our port reports. So, and first things first, let's plan our journey. Mudden Island, then Kumian Channel, then we'll chop, start cutting away. Or we go to Kumian Channel, Iron Republic, then Isle of Cats, north, then east. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So, whoops, did not want to do that twice. That was just a waste of a little fuel. Off I go on an adventure. I don't think I'll record all of this till we st start getting towards something new. So I will see you guys in a second. Bye. Well, be right back. Not bye. Bye's for the end of the episode. Alright, I got in a fight with a pirate frigger, which is why my hull is almost gone. A pirate frigate, not a freighter. And, but I did find something. There's an island. There's a port down there. Or an island, or something. So we're going to go exploring. Discovered Autumn Islands. In the midst of the sea of autumn gets into the eyes of the heart. It's not unusual to find yourself in unsuspecting tears. Unex unsuspected tears. Is that it? Oh. Well, the one thing I did get out of the uh, pirate frigate is a whole bunch of food. Because I don't, I didn't notice er earlier, but I left without enough food. Is this it? Is this the entire Autumn Islands? Melting Islands to the south. Let's explore this, see if we can find a port or something. But we'll just click on that now. Yeah, I don't think there's anything of interest here. Lipiani, Lipianen Point, I guess would be how you pronounce that. A brisk sweater spray. The Unter Z is restless. Yeah, I guess that's it. So let's go check out that next port we found before heading back to London. I'll be back to London. We'll stop by Visage. I missed that one on my last trip. Mind you, I went north, so we'll swing by Visage. Get a port report there. Oh, and I apparently unlocked the shops in the Iron Republic. I didn't record that, though, because that would have... I checked it out. It was like... Actually, I did record it, but I probably, I probably cut it from the uh, episode because it was like 20 seconds worth of footage. They they sell, like, fuel and a, few other th a bunch of other things that I don't can't buy or do anything with, so. Here we go. Now, where's the port? Oh, of course, the port's on the far side of that island. 
What is that over there? Something is underwater over there. Melting islands. We've well, we've melting isles is the proper name. There was definitely something under the water over there. Home warmly lit windows company peace thoughts of home come at the strangest time. Is there any nearby ports to visit? Swallowing Isles to the northwest. We're gonna help visit a whole bunch of places. Oh, apparently they wanted me. The I, I was supposed to go to uh, the Iron Republic for strategic information or something. So now I have some strategic information. The Mangrove College. The wise and wicked seek sanctuary here, where the fruits are plentiful in the woods wild. Engage an officer, maybe's daughter. Hello, where are you headed? On second thought, I don't mind. Can I come aboard? Yes, I'm an engineer, but I'm an engineer in a hurry. Maybe starters an engineer who increases veils, iron, and engine power. No, thank you. Pick up passenger. The Mangrove College is named for its scholars and philosophers. They have long abandoned civilized comforts for the life of the mind. Sometimes they want those civilized comforts back. Eat, drink, be merry. Gather supplies. You don't have time to stop and rest, but you can gather plenty of supplies. The college members will grumble, but there's enough to go around. Sure. We've gained five supplies. Awesome. Into the Wispways. Uh, the swamps around the village are full of mud, crocodiles, and vegetable treasures, including a notorious parasite called Solace Fruit. The fogs and spreading branches occlude all light. Take plenty of candles if you dare to venture. Unpick the mysteries of other lands. This will convert, this will convert these items into a secret. 77 fragments and we want the distant short memories of distant short for the kid. Um, compile port report. Yes, please. Our hunger quality has gone, and we've gained supplies doing that, too. Awesome. Let's see what they were that I want to go. The Corsair's Force, please. Gators Marn. No, I'm not in a hurry. But I think I might stay below decks. I don't want to carry the fee on me. You'll have to trust me for when it, we arrive. You now have one shady sort. She wants to go to the Corsair's Forest. Interesting. That's a bit out of our way, so we'll swing by London first. Corsair's Forest is... Oh, Gator's Morn, right. So, we'll swing by Visage, head straight up to north to Gator's Morn, then fall in London. And first things first, let's check out this other place over here. Interesting seeing greens down here. Discovered Swallowing Isles, we've entered a fog bank. Okay. No, no islands within Zebat's range. So let's uncover this part of the map. And then head over to Visage. Yeah, our fuel's running low, so let's actually ignore unlocking the map right now. Anything on them? Anything within Zbat's range? No. Kalpaka Cove. Oh, something awaits us in port. Laughter from the foredeck. Awesome. That face is kind of creepy. And... Dock. This is the port of Visage where faces may not be naked. Create a port report. And... Sure, go ashore. All those who enter must play their part. The sign is visible only after you've crossed the threshold. Checking at the customs house. One may not wander the village at will. All visitors must pass one by one through a room guarded by a person in the mask of a moon moth. Uh, let's go with the frog mask. Brack, brack, gack, gack, gack. The moon moth lifts the mask and places over your head. The eye holes are large and they are fitted with spectacles. These improve your view of the environment, though you must bull bide from the outside. There's also a mechanism attached to the mouthpiece which magnifies any sound you make, even your breathing. You start to thank the moon moth and it comes out as a booming croak. May you profit from your visited knowledge, says the moon moth. Its wings fold gently over your back. 
Business exper expertise and parts hasn't changed because it's a little intrigue. Okay, we have a frog mask. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's visit the library of parts, see what we can get. Stop at the lintel, enter the dark. A room of heavy stone guarded by a golden statuette of a woman with outstretched arms. The stroll niches sorted to correspond to a variety of masks. The jackal and the lioness, the crocodile and dung beetle. A woman in the mask of a lotus blossom is standing at a lectern, reading in silence. Uh, sure, in a bumbling way. Uh, we've gained exp experience in parts in a total of three, aware of visitor roles. The Moon Moth takes it, uh, take the, you read aloud for guarding against the loss of heart. The Moon Moth takes it from you, rolls it tightly, and returns it to a niche. There are many ways of guarding against the loss of the heart, as there are different masks explained in that same light in a different voice. Okay. Uh, trade masks, sure. What's it want? It draws you aside into a closet of, into the customs house. Had enough of visage, it tells you frankly, here, you take my mask and pretend to be me, and I'll trade in the visitor's mask and get some depart on some departing ship, get my life back. Its face, no, now you see her face. It's aging but unlined of life after never needing to use a facial expression. Wait, are we stuck now? Oh shit. 